Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at another one of my favorite Ludum Dare 29 games. Uh, and of course, if you are unaware, Ludum Dare is a twice yearly competition where a theme is picked and then developers are tasked with creating a game based on that theme in 48 hours. So this year there were over 2,500 uh, submissions, and I went through and based on names and pictures, I kind of whittled it down to maybe my favorite 25-ish and then whittled that down to about my favorite 7 which I'm doing videos on. So this is A Boy and His Hellworm which is by Orange Pixel who have released let's see uh, Heroes of Loot and Gunslugs as well as some other things so they have definitely had some some very good games released already and I am a big fan of this one so I'm gonna jump in here and basically what we've got going on here is that we are supposed to jump on these little creatures to kind of build points and then by pressing the X button and I am just playing this in browser uh, by pressing the X button we can summon the Hellworm so uh, you know in terms of like what's going on here it's pretty simple but that doesn't mean it's not super fun, and I think out of the ones that I picked to be my favorite, um, this is probably one of the only ones that I picked that is just purely because it's fun. And I think out of all the ones I tried, this is probably the most fun that I've had. It's it's very much like a, a high score kind of arcade sort of experience, and uh, I can definitely appreciate that. So that was a really bad run, but... I will jump back in here. Uh, games tend to be pretty short, but again, you know, the game was made totally in 48 hours. Um, and as far as what's here, I think it's it's really good. Like I said, super fun, and it looks great. I really like uh, the graphical style of everything in the game, and I also really like the um, the sound effects for everything. I think it all sounds pretty good. But yeah, I mean, the biggest thing about this one is that it, it's just fun. And of course, if you need someone to point it out, the um, relation to the theme, of course, is that the only way we have of defending ourselves is by summoning our Hellworm, which lives beneath the surface. So that is uh, the reasoning there. So this is the third and final monster. Of course, if we defeat this one, it just wraps around and we start back over from the first monster. So at that point, it, it really just is kind of an arcade experience. Start from the beginning again, see how, how many times you can go through all of the monsters. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I would, however, say that I would love to see this one actually kind of fully fleshed out as a, a full game, and I know that Orange Pixel has done that before. A couple of their games uh, have started out as kind of Ludendare games and then turned into a full game. And this is one that I could definitely see that happening with, especially if they kind of uh, integrated a neat kind of like upgrade system in so you know we're getting our points so like if we could spend our points to upgrade our monster or you know give us more health things like that or like give us continues stuff like that just um, you know I mean yeah, you know what I'm talking about when I say an upgrade system I think that could be pretty fun as well as hearing um, what they would like to do for music because I'm sure if they had time, they probably would have liked to have added music. And, uh, you know, I'd be curious to hear what they would come up with for that. But yeah, I mean, this is this is one that, as far as all the games on my list, I think this is probably the one that I chose just purely because it was fun. Um, you know, and I had kind of various criteria when I was choosing which ones I would show off, and... A lot of them were mostly me trying to look for, like, experiences and, and who could come up with the, the most interesting experience in a 48-hour game. But this one was, like, just purely because it's fun. <clears throat> you know, and I can appreciate that. So I think this will probably be the one that...
Uh, probably the most people who watch my little look at these games will want to go and try for their, for themselves. Uh, and you know, it does help that it's got kind of the whole high scoring thing going for it. I could see this being uh, quite the fun little high score game to, uh, you know, kind of compete with your friends, things like that. I don't think it has leaderboards, but again, that would be pretty complicated to implement in 48 hours. But what is here, in my opinion, is extremely impressive. I, I'm a big fan of this one. Love the way it looks, love the way it sounds, really love the way it plays. So, um, of course, as with yesterday, and as I will with all of these, um, I will link not only to this game uh, specifically, but I will also just link to the main um, Ludum Diary page so that you can check out all of the games, all <laughs> 2,500 of them, uh, in case you want to check out some of the ones that I skipped over, because I'm sure there are tons of really fantastic games that I just won't have time to cover. So yeah, I would definitely encourage you to do that, especially if you like kind of mini experiences, and if you're interested in seeing what can be achieved in 48 hours. This kind of just like boggles my mind every time one of these competitions comes around that people can do, uh, you know, such incredible work in, in such a small amount of time. Um, I, I do want to say about this one though that uh, they've, they've really kind of captured the just one more time kind of feeling. Uh, you know, same kind of feeling that you get playing like Super Meat Boy or you know, games of that nature, because it's just so easy to just start your game right back up again. I could see myself, if this was on, on mobile, I could see myself spending a ton of time on my phone just playing this game. Because it is, uh, you know, like I said, it's just super easy to just jump right back in after you lose. But I think that is all that I have to cover for this one. So of course, like I said, if you are interested in trying for a high score, uh, you know, go give it a shot. It's definitely a fun one. There's a lot here to like. So, as always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you'd like to comment on. If you uh, try the game out, let me know what your high score is. And, of course, if you are... Uh, you know, if this is your first time seeing me and you like my content, then uh, please do consider subscribing, and you will get to see more of my content on a daily basis. And then, as always, if you like the video, please do consider clicking the like button, because that helps me out a lot, as well as uh, shows me that you are supporting the video. So, as always, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.